Hey guys, it's Jesse with Mile High Freshwater. Uh, first of all, I want to apologize if I sound kind of crappy. I actually am homesick from work today, but that didn't stop the UPS guy from delivering all of my uh, equipment for the fish room. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into um, all the equipment I got today. I actually have more on the way, but it's not going to be here till Monday. So uh, first, let's just kind of push back the big box and we'll open this small one. Um, now these actually um, went to my wife's office so she opened the two smaller ones. She didn't open the big one but uh, it looks like in this first box I got a little note from Happy Fish Online and um, I ordered some um, leaves for my epistogramma uh, project. So these are, um, uh, shoot, I forgot the uh, Indian almond leaves. And that came in a pretty big box, but kept them from getting too crushed up. So the next one is an Amazon purchase. See what we got in here. I have no idea what this is. Um, this is not for me. There's no way. Because it smells little trees assorted something 24 pack. What? Yeah. Apparently I ordered, <laughs> that is not what I ordered. Uh, I did not order scented trees. That is really weird. Okay, well, looks like I'm going to have to figure out what the heck's going on there. Okay, so I checked my Amazon orders and I'm supposed to get Oh man, I'm supposed to get some Sea Kim Safe and a laundry tub faucet and some fish food. Uh, and it says it's still out for delivery. I have no idea why I got two 24 packs of little scented trees. No idea. That's really weird. Okay, well, anyway, this package is from Gemco, so I know what's in here, but let's take a look. So, packing slip shows everything that we ordered. Packing material. So, I got some sponge filters. Um, I got some larger ones. Um, wow, okay. Those are one piece. That is crazy. These things are gigantic and apparently they go together. Huh. Well, maybe they don't. I have no idea. Um, some sponge filters. So this is for, the bigger ones are for the 55 gallon tanks. Yep, these are all one. So um, they told me that usually people get two of those per, um, per larger tank, so I mean, these things are massive. They're huge. Jimco for the win, huh? All right. So I have four of these. And I have a bunch of smaller ones. Um, wow, what is all this? I do not. They must have taken some of them apart. They just stacked them. Yeah, so there's some smaller ones for the uh, 10 and 20 gallon tanks, but it looks like they just stacked them up because it's easier to pack. Apparently you can stack them. So, um, so there should be, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. That is the right number. Um, also, um, all the lift tubes for the 
um, all the sponge filters. And got a big roll of silicone tubing. Um, apparently this is like 330 feet. So hopefully it should last me quite a while. And let's see what else, what else? These are all the pieces for the sponge filters. Um, looks like in here, um, we'll get to this in a second. There's another box in here that's kind of heavy, so let's open that up. All right, first before I get into this box, I figured out what the little scented trees were for, and those are actually what my wife ordered because all this stuff went to her office. The little trees are actually for a little thing they're doing at work, so anyway. Okay, so let me get some of this stuff out of the way. Oh, also I figured out before I open that is, I thought I only ordered four of these, but there are eight, so these are separate as well. I didn't, uh, I don't know anything about these gym coat things. So anyway, that is one sponge filter. That is two sponge filters. So they're separate bases for the other pieces. I'm dumb. Okay. So this is actually my new air pump for the fish room. Um, this is a Jimco model DAP MH30. So it shows on the box that it does 44 liters per minute. Um, they say 30, um, but I've heard that these will overproduce. Um, but there you go. Um, and keep filter clean, check every six months, clean and replace if necessary. Um, so they do make, um, they do make rebuild kits for these. So if I need to, I can rebuild the diaphragm that's in there. This sucker is hefty. Um, but the reason why I kept this other little package separate. So this is the free little adapter they have for PVC. And I'm pretty sure it fits on three quarter inch PVC. They give you this little kit. So, um, there's a little adapter with some pinch clamps and basically you've got your outlet right there. You can just take this and put it right on the output, pinch clamp it back on, just like so. And then this will go directly to a PVC line that runs around the fish room. And then the rest of this, so these are, um, wow, I ordered 50 and they gave me 60. Would you look at that? Um, so these are air and water valves, so I can actually run my water and air with these guys. Um, now it has to be low pressure, so I'm going to have to put a pressure regulator on my um, water source, but it does come with a tap so I can put these in PVC and then there's a little drill bit that comes with it so I can drill the right size hole. So let's open this up just so you get an idea. But these, now these are plastic. Um, they didn't have any of the metal ones in stock, but these ones should be just fine. There we go. They have a little uh, uh, regulator on top so you can regulate your air or water pressure. So pretty neat. Um, they do have a little, like a little hex head on it so you can use a um, nut driver to put these into your PVC if need be. Uh, they are, whoops, I dropped it. These are threaded as well so that's what the tap is for, you can see the tap to put threads on, the drill bit for the right size. So these will thread right in uh, for a leak proof seal. Now these I'll probably put some 
uh, thread tape on them, at least for the water, um, just so I know that I won't get any leaks around the room. So uh, anyway, that is my unboxing for today. There's a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff to put together. I'm going to actually start running. I'm not running this right away because I need to run the um, PVC around the room. And I still need to get the tanks set up where I need them and um, everything drilled, so on and so forth. So um, actually, and I do have another video that I need to do for that, um, but that's a whole other story. That'll be episode five. Um, but anyway, um, I'm going to take some of these sponge filters and set them up in my other tanks just so I can get them seated for when I do set up the fish room. So um, anyway, that is the episode for today. Again, I apologize. I'm a little under the weather today, but the fun stuff arrived. So had to show you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell for notifications uh, just so you can see the next upcoming episode. Otherwise, those of you that have subscribed, thank you again, and we'll see you next time.